Tell me a bit about the remarkable achievement of going when you get into this final. You don't have any rugby on the curriculum. You train at lunchtime sometimes, nor in their, their school uniforms. You travel 10, 20 minutes to come and train on this pitch. So it really is, you overcome some challenges on the way, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. We. I don't think we ever will get rugby on the curriculum at the school. Um, we certainly won't get a pitch because we're quite landlocked. But having this link with Old Ruts has been brilliant because all the boys play at the same club together. So they're used to, to playing in, the, in exactly the same style. They're very, very good friends. And that helps because they really play for each other. What's been the secret to success for your team? What are you, what are you good at? Um, just being together and being a team because we're always together training at club or school so we, we know each other in and out and we've just got that chemistry. If you have a team and you're not really friends the chemistry isn't there even though if you're good players but because we, um, we're, we're all good friends and we're strong as our weakest link really. What's your mate next to you? What's he good at? What, what skills has he got on a rugby field? <laughs> uh, messing up stuff sometimes but nah he is good he's a good tackler he's got good vision but yeah he's, he's good. What about this guy, a tight head prop? What do you need from one of them? <laughs> he, well, he breaks the line well, makes his tackles. He's not lazy as a prop would be, but he's very mobile for it, It's absolutely changed some of their lives. For some of them, it's got them out of a pathway that could have taken them really the wrong way. For others, it's created a social environment that they otherwise wouldn't have had. Some of them stayed in a hotel for the first time when we went to the semi-finals. So it's really opened their eyes up to a completely different world, I suppose, especially going to some of the schools that we've gone to and we've seen some of the, the facilities. I think they've been at Gravney and they've just always thought that other schools are just like Gravney. Um, and to go to a school where they've got probably a third of the number of kids, but 30 times the amount of facilities is um, I, I suppose what I like is that they, they don't take it negatively, they don't start moaning and whinging that they, oh we don't have this and we don't have that, they just simply say well isn't it great that we're doing what we're doing with what we've got. I've, I've been playing it for about three, four years now and it's, it's helped me a lot, confidence and just making friends as well, I made so many friends and um, yes, I don't know what I'd be doing if I weren't playing to have Mike Brown come along here and, and do a training session with the boys is just out of any, well, beyond anything we could have expected. Yeah, this is definitely what um, rugby's all about. You know, nice, nice English weather and lovely muddy pitch. Um, yeah, we're just doing a bit of training, getting them ready for their um, Schools Cup final, NatWest Schools Cup final on the weekend. And um, yeah, they're looking forward to it and training hard. Some gas as well, wasn't there? Yes, <laughs> there's a bit of gas out there. So luckily they haven't um, asked me for a race. I don't think I'd uh, beat these these young young kids. It's been great because it's created a real buzz at the school around the NatWest Schools Cup because I don't think people have realised what the competition's about, certainly from Graveney because we've never done, done the competition before um, and we're not on that circuit of, of traditional rugby playing schools so I think they think oh we've just entered another competition but I think now we're playing at Twick and I think they realise actually yeah there's probably something quite important about this. Yeah it's great to see a state school getting so far in, in this great competition you know I went to state school and we, we didn't even have a team pretty much, it's just all football so it's great to, to see them do it, achieving what they are and um, full credit to the coach as well, getting this far. Howie, he's full of pace, full of running, and they're on their way to Twickenham now, surely. The boys have improved so much with each game, and they've they've worked on the things that haven't gone well, and they've kept doing the things that have gone well, and it's just meant that their performances have improved every single match. From what I've seen in their highlight reel that I got shown earlier, um, with the gas they've got and the natural ability they've got there, they can push any team. So hopefully it's a dry weather day for them, because I think you know they can cause some serious damage. I mean, we've overcome some huge obstacles. It's it's been something that's I I suppose it's made the achievement even more remarkable because we've not had it all on a plate or anything and yeah they've really enjoyed it as a result. Is it a pleasure to coach them as well? I love it, I absolutely love it. They are bonkers, the, the lot of them, and the, the level of banter um, is ridiculous. Tell me a bit about your coach, what's she been like for you? She's been great, she's she's not just a coach, she's like an, an aunt to all of us. So yeah. Because we know her outside of school and outside of club as well, and we've got that relationship, it's really good to have that because she's not just a coach, she's a friend as well. They are really, really genuinely good friends. Um, and, and I enjoy spending time with them and watching them perform so well. And it's so lovely to see them reap the rewards of, of what they've achieved. I suppose I've just kind of guided them in the right direction. They've done all the hard work and, and they've got the results. And they will be heading to Twickenham.